I know what you're thinking. You were thinking, oh, I have sat in this house, that house. I have seen the video thumbnail and the title and I've clicked it. So now I will know which is the best or or maybe which is the best and the worst placement of Saturn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, astrology does not work like that. As much as you would like to hear and I would like to say, there is no one best or worst placement for Saturn. And now before you quit this video and you go, let me tell you, I'll tell you how should you know if your Saturn is well placed or not, right? So, because depending on the overall chart, your Saturn could be good or bad, as you like to hear, right? Good, bad, good, bad. It could be well placed or badly placed for one particular event of life or one particular area of life. For example, any planet in the 10th house is good for your profession but not good for your married life. Any planet in the 6th could be in general good for your career, not always could be, but very bad for your married life. So, Saturn is not an exception, alright? So, therefore, today's video, in today's video, you will actually know how to analyze your Saturn. It's very important. Otherwise, you will just keep doing this, you know, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad and you, you won't get any answer, alright? So, let's try to see the best and the worst placements of Saturn in this video. Alright, as usual, if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video after watching it till the end. And for consultations, my website is down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And also, I'm using Adobe Podcast for the audio. Uh, I hope it sounds better. If yes... Uh, Please put a thumbs up in the comments. I'll know. All right. Thank you. So now, what is Saturn? Saturn is the Karaka for the 6th, 8th and 12th houses. All right. He's the Karaka for the Dustana houses. And he's the only Karaka for the 8th and the 12th. And Mars is also the Karaka for the 6th. So the 6th house has two Karakas, Mars and Saturn. And the other two, the worst of the Dustanas, have two only one karak and that is saturn so what does this mean this means wherever saturn is placed in your chart you will have traits of dustanas in short that's the shortest answer or explanation you can give for saturn now what does this mean which means wherever saturn is placed you will experience the sixth house what is sixth house delays disappointment setbacks frustration expectations not met all right Eighth house, reversals, shock, betrayal, all these things you'll experience. Twelfth house, what is twelfth house? Twelfth house is loss. You will lose that, all right? Ah, tough one, right? Of course, he's Saturn. <laughs> but apart from that, Saturn is also the Karaka for the tenth house, which means there, there can be recognition, but after a lot of hard work, all right? So, now the question is, how do you judge your Saturn? So, for this, you have to check what is going on in the chart. So, for example, you see your Saturn is in the 6th house. So, is this a good placement or a bad placement, according to you? Well, then I would ask you, good and bad for what? Right? It's not so superficial, good for this, bad for it. So, if in a horoscope, the 2nd house, 7th house and 11th house, should I repeat, the 2nd, 7th, 11th and Venus, if these four areas are good, which means the second lord, seventh lord, eleventh lord is well placed or there are natural benefits in the second, seventh and eleventh or at least two of these houses and the Karaka Venus is well placed and the Ravamsa is also decent good, then Saturn in the sixth house will give you gains in your profession because then Saturn in Dasha will not be able to hamper your married life. But now, suppose your 2nd, 7th and 11th, these, these lords are very badly placed. They are afflicted, they are in Dustan, they are in debility or you know your D9 is spoiled. And your 10th house is very powerful, which means you have too many players there. Then this Saturn in 6th can wreak havoc in your married life. Because now, your chart is flowing towards profession, which means either you don't get married, or you get separated or divorced. One of either ways, you, you you are single basically because sixth house is also brahmachari, so you are a brahmachari. 
either by choice or by force. Most of the people by force. So, therefore, now you know this same sixth house Saturn will act very difficult for my married life. Also, along with that, if the trines are also badly placed, which means the trinal lords, and there are natural malefics in trines, you know, like there is Mars, Saturn, Mars, Rahu, Ketu, Sun in the fifth, ninth, along with, you know, a bad second house, bad seventh house, bad eleventh house, then you know it's the worst placement to have. Because, and then in Saturn, Dasha, in the sixth, you might get divorced. And please be mindful of Saturn in the sixth, in the Bhava Chalit chart, only BC, not not Lagna chart. Many people have Saturn in 6th, but actually it's in the 5th. <laughs> because if your Lagna is, you know, suppose your Lagna is Aries and your Saturn is in Virgo, and you think, oh yeah, my Saturn is in 6th house. Mm, maybe I'll get divorced. But no, in the Bhavachali chart, although it is in Virgo, it is actually in the 5th house. Okay, it is. It has not reached the degree of the 6th house of uh, because the degree in the Bhavachali chart is calculated by, you know, spe specific measures. So, just because it is in Virgo for Aries and it does not mean it is in the 6th house. Don't make this mistake. So, first, go and check your Bhavachali chart and if you don't know what Bhava Chali, let me hold the mic. I have a video on Bhava Chali chart. Please type exotic astrology Bhava Chali chart or Bhava chart. B-H-A-V-A. -A. You'll find it. <laughs> Otherwise, you will run into blunders. All right. So, that's what we discussed about the 6th house. Now, what about the 7th house? 7th house. If Saturn is in 7th house and... Your chart is overall supportive for profession, which means you have a strong Lagna, you have a strong Sun, strong 10th house, strong 11th house. Then, this Saturn in the 7th is exceptionally good because Saturn is in Dikbal. So, it will give you gains in your marriage and also in partnerships. So, it can be best of both the worlds. Okay, that's very interesting. 7th house is the only house in the horoscope which can give you gains both in profession and marriage. Most of the houses are otherwise. <laughs> Actually, 2nd, 7th uh, and 11th. It, it's very funny, right? The three houses of marriage are also great for your profession. But the houses of profession mm, are terrible for your marriage. Okay, so which means if you get a chance to prioritize your marriage or career, you should always choose your career because that will also stabilize your married life. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, sorry, I said the opposite. You should always choose your uh, married life because among the three houses, the 2nd, 7th and 11th, the 2nd and the 11th are also good for your profession. They will, they, like 2nd house is also Artha house. You know, 11th house is Kama house, but it will give you gain. So that's where the lesson is in astrology, right? And 7th house is also partnerships, okay? Therefore, marriage first priority, then everything else uh, sets automatically, okay? And the other way around, 6th uh, house, 10th house, great for profession, but divorce, all right? So, that's, that's a very interesting lesson there. <laughs> so, now, suppose you have Saturn in the 10th house. So, now you may be thinking, see, what I'm trying to tell you is, Saturn may be anywhere, but you have to judge, is he well placed or badly placed for, for every other area of life? You cannot just say, Oh, Saturn is here, this will happen. No, the same Saturn in every house will have a different flavor for all events of life. So, you have to judge. The expertise of an astrologer is to judge every planet for every area of life. You you cannot say, oh, uh, you know, I have this planet in the 7th, it is good for prof uh, married life. How is, it, how is it for profession? How is it for health? How is it for childbirth? You need to say all this also, if required, okay? So, therefore, suppose if Saturn is now in the 10th house and your 2nd, 7th, 11th lords are very badly placed, so then, again, it's a very bad position for your married life and there can be divorce. And now, along with this, if your 2nd uh, house, 7th house, 5th house, ninth house, these are strong, then Saturn in 10th, in Dasha, can give you separation, but it is not because of marital discord. So, it is like a temporary separation where you are in one place and, you know, your husband or wife is in some other city, you know, and you are having long distance married life. It, it's like that, okay. 
but it is not that you are fighting and quarreling and uh, abusing each other like dogs and then you are separated okay it's not that separation so now you see the same saturn in 10th will give you separation because of work or it could be education or due to health reasons or whatever but it may not cause discord in your marriage okay if the second seventh eleventh and fifth and ninth these houses are strong now saturn in 10th is it good for profession or bad how will you know if the dusthana lords one of the dusthana lords is saturn and he's in the 10th so suppose eighth lord saturn is in the 10th house for example and your artha lords artha lord are six second lord sixth lord tenth lord and you can also say eleventh lord if the lords of these four houses are badly placed they are afflicted or in dustan or you know in debility whatever then this saturn as a dustan a lord sitting in your tenth house can wreak havoc in your career and marriage both because he's a dustan a lord and your chart is very weak for your profession so it's like a nightmare for both career and marriage right so now you see i showed you different examples with the same placement but how this can vary and that's very important because you need to judge see because when you see charts you will see oh saturn is in 6th house but it uh, performs differently for this person than that person why this is the reason because one planet cannot override what the overall chart is telling so the overall chart is very important okay so whenever you are talking on married life or career you know please judge multiple houses and the karakas and after that you will know you oh is this planet is this supporting me in my career or marriage now why am i talking only of career or marriage because 99% of the questions are revolving these two topics and in career you can also take you know litigation court cases name fame power position money influence and all this okay popularity or followers so everything will come under career and marriage everything you know like everything <laughs> the same you can do for your love life all right you can do this for fifth house you can do this for your spiritual life ninth house and the same planet can be good or bad for a particular chart depending on what where the flow is going all right i hope this gave you a good direction in regards to how to analyze a particular planet and especially the worst of all malefics like saturn shani maharaj himself all right and at the end always remember saturn is a difficult planet his dasha is tough it, it does not have to be a nightmare but it is tough it is tough to keep going okay but that does not mean you surrender many people have become like very famous personalities in saturn dasha and that is because of their hard work all right so one thing is guaranteed in saturn dasha either it is well placed badly placed medi medium placed one thing is guaranteed is hard work and there is no compromise with that and don't try to run away from it all right thank you so much jai shani maharaj ki and please take care thank you